stare at the camera real weirdly if you want. That might get views. <laughs> That's my favorite part. What's going on, everybody? I'm here at Bar K in Kansas City with Brandon Howe, one of our franchisees, our Kansas City franchisee. He's also in Tulsa as well as Fort Worth. Yep. Brandon, talk to me a little bit. I'm going to try to shut up for a minute. Talk to me for a little bit about how you got in, how you discovered Scoop Soldiers and pet waste removal, and how, how business has been the last couple of years. So it's a weird chance that EJ stops talking for a minute and let somebody else get a word in. <laughs> so I'm going to take advantage of this here. So actually I have to give credit to his family. Um, we're good friends with your cousin, another one of the franchisees, Heather. Um, just saw her launch her franchise in Denton, Texas, and watching that whole process and watching her business ownership and my wife and I being business owners, we're like, okay, maybe we're ready to make the next step towards a little bit bigger business, wanted a franchise, not starting something from the ground up. So we did our due diligence with Scoop Soldiers and initially got in with Fort Worth. About, so you got two territories in Fort Worth We have to two start territories with? in Fort Worth. A uh, little bit over a year after that, we got two territories in Tulsa and four territories here in Kansas City. And so you basically got Fort Worth, that's where you started with, those yep. two territories. But your Tulsa is all of Tulsa in two territories, and yep. then Kansas City is four territories, which is all of Kansas City. Yep, exactly. And so, you, as you mentioned, you, you live a couple doors down from Heather, yep. my cousin, fellow franchisee. She owns uh, Dallas, Houston, Nashville with, with Ryan. Yep. Um, and you guys saw her journey going from working with us as a team member in our office as an administrative support SAM team member. We yep. call her now Scoop Account Manager. She still has that role. She's our senior Scoop Account Manager. Okay, I'll have to but give she, her congratulations when yeah, I see her. Let her know you, about the promotion. But she, yeah, she, <laughs> she, knows, she knows about it. I just change job titles every few every few months, but I changed the name because I'm a little ADD and I forget about it. But but nonetheless, you saw her journey. Yep. And uh, but but you you spoke to something key there. You didn't want to start something from absolutely nothing. Talk no. a little bit about that. Like what was the re reasoning for that? So, I'm in franchising. This is not a full time day job for me. I also have a full time day job dealing with franchising, on a much larger scale. But seeing it from the franchisor's perspective, yeah. so I've seen the benefits that a franchise can lend to franchisees. Uh, my wife and I, as I mentioned, had a small business before Scoop Soldiers. Um, Tell me about that. I'm not sure off the top of my head. I can, I remember this. So we had a yard sign business, like birthday yard signs, like yeah, happy birthday yeah. EJ. So we did that. We okay. had a small franchise of that up in McKinney, Frisco area. Okay. So, and that was a, hey, put the kids in bed, go set the sign. Right, you had so, to do that at night, like, yes. at, like after it, hours. It's very time restrictive. Um, it limits it limits a lot of time that the family has together because of the time restrictions with the daylight. You, know, you want it to be a surprise for the person the next day and all that. So uh, you're literally doing that during the time that you would otherwise be spending with your family nights yes. and weekends, which is yeah. on one hand, it's an opportunity if you've got a day job. On the Absolutely. other hand, it's got a pitfall in that you're always working. It was a great start to dip the toe in the business ownership. Yeah. It's, hey, I want to have a business we can't quit our full-time day job because we need our bills to still be paid. Yeah. So it was a, hey, let's try this. Hopefully it's successful. If it's not, we still have our full-time day job. It ended up being successful, um, not as big as we thought it would be. So we decided, hey, let's look into something a little bit bigger, hence Scoop Soldiers. And that's when you, you found Scoop Soldiers. And so you, got, you were able to take over Fort Worth as an enhanced territory. That was your first. Yep your first launch into Scoop Soldiers, two territories, Fort Worth we talked about, and that had a, that was an established territory. You had four trucks that you took over from day one. Yep. Did you see a lot of benefit in that from, from, from the beginning, from day one, being able to start with something? Yes and no. Tell me about both the positive and the negative. Yes, absolutely. It is, it's such a stress reliever to buy into a business and it's profitable day one. Yeah. It's not, Hey, how am I going to make my payroll paychecks this week? How am I going to pay for marketing? How am I going to pay for this? It's a business it's, in a box, literally. It was literally ready to make money day one. Um, whereas when we started here in Kansas City, we had 40 customers, not a profitable business. Right. It's getting there now. But at that, from starting as basically a brand new business, yep. you have a lot more steps. It's 
am I going to do a full-time employee? Am I going to do a part-time employee? Am I going to try to live there and do it in addition to a full-time day job like yep. I did with the signs? Um, so there's benefits to what both. What are the pitfalls? You may, I, I, I've heard the benefits. I want to hear the pitfalls. It's definitely more expensive. Yeah. Um, but if you're able to, you have to have confidence in what you're doing. Yeah. Um, because it is, it's a bigger risk in the fact that it's a bigger upfront cost. But if you're willing to believe in yourself and trust the product, it's really not a pitfall. Yeah. Like, it's not like I'm saying, hey, I'm gonna go be an arborist tomorrow. It's like, I would never pay a crap ton of money for that because it's like, I don't know the first thing about it. I'm not interested in trees. Trees suck. Um, I love are dogs. You interested? I was going to say, are you interested <laughs> in dog poop or just dogs? <laughs> <laughs> well, in the industry in general and talking with people about it and being able to educate people about it, it's a growing industry. Yeah. Um, I find myself talking about it all the time and everybody's like, that's an industry? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, do you think it'll be profitable in the long run? Absolutely. If you would have asked someone 20, 30, 40 years ago, hey, would you pay somebody else to watch your kids? Exactly. They would have said, absolutely not. Do you know a family of four, two kids, two parents that don't have daycare? Right. Or you could even use lawn mowing, my, my background exactly. in the same analogy. 1975, you could have asked 10 regular people, hey, do you, would you ever pay for lawn mowing? And they would have said no. Yeah. Well, fast forward 40 years, everybody pays for lawn mowing. Yep. Yep. And hopefully we got our foot in the door early enough that in five, 10 years, people say, Oh yeah, I got these great scoopers, scoop soldiers. Here's their card. Let them know I sent you. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. And we're just the name out there. I do believe that that will come. I don't know when, but it will cut. There will be a time when everybody knows about pet waste removal. Yeah. When 65 million dog owners are aware of pet waste removal, and I can I can't even imagine. I try to talk about it, but I can't even imagine the opportunity that that will provide both of us. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm excited about that. Me I'm excited too. to be in business and partnered with you as a franchisee, franchisor, and grateful for you. Yeah. And frankly, grateful for you and the trust you have in our brand and the fact that you have invested in our brand like you have. Yep. Um, I I can I, I can never take advantage of that because I'm so grateful for it. So thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, and yeah. You, uh, we were just talking earlier, we've doubled Kansas City since you took it on just yep. in a few months. And granted, it's it's small, yep. but it is up and coming, and I am really excited for you guys here in Kansas, because this is your biggest territory. you got four territories uh, geographically, here. Absolutely. Geographically, yes. Uh, geographically, it's your smallest uh, uh, client count and revenue-wise, yes. but it's your biggest in terms of upswing. Yep. And so I'm excited to see the growth here. I can see literally in Kansas City, not a thousand, but thousands of clients just oh, in yeah. Kansas City for sure. I mean, I think me and my wife, Valerie, are both hoping that we can get this doubled. I mean, we've doubled it in about six months that we've been here. We're hoping to double that now again in the next six months. I absolutely believe that should be so. very possible. And I got to give you props. Here's how I know it'll be profitable because we've been doing this T-Pick tour now for about four months and we keep talking to the team. You know, when we're doing these events and we're handing out free cards, free drinks, free swag, so on and so forth, we have yet to sign a client up in real time until about 30 minutes ago. Brandon here literally was like, I got the tablet. He signed a client up, credit card and everything on file. Yep. That is our first. And so and she'll start on you Thursday. First are, start are about Thursday. to be the reigning tea pig king, <laughs> which means you'll have to be the next poop man at our next conference. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Appreciate you, sir. <laughs> Appreciate you. Of course.